Good morning. This is Grandpa Roy. As you can see, this is not Grandma Rose. Uh, last week, she had uh, some cataract surgery and a new lens put in her eye. And about along the same time, uh, she began to have trouble in her neck. So she's got to have an MRI to check out uh, if she's got a, a, a blown disc or a what's going on in her neck right now, but it's causing a lot of pain through the chest and down the arms and she can't move much. So she's not really in a position yet. She's sedated, so she's not uh, able to do the video. So y'all be praying for her. But uh, she told me she wanted me to go ahead and uh, show y'all my uh, birthday uh, dinner. Last year, uh, if you know me and you've heard me a lot of our videos, you know I love hot dogs. That's one of my favorite things. Hot dogs and slaw and uh, hash browns, baked beans, those kinds of things. I really enjoy those. And so last year for my birthday dinner, I cooked uh, uh, hot dogs and I cooked some fried squash vegetables. We call them squash chips. And I think we had slaw with that, three items, and, and, and I totally love it. But today, we're gonna do a variation of the hot dog, and that is a dilly dog. Uh, what is a dilly dog? Well, and we're gonna do it in wraps instead of a bun. So, a dilly dog is simply dill pickle, hot dog, Swiss cheese, or your favorite cheese, and a zero carb wrap, like these has to be large enough to hold your hot dog. Now these, these wraps are uh, carb counter, zero carb. So with that, Grandmama has already uh, prepared her uh, slaw, uh, pickles, carrots, cabbage, mayonnaise, salt, a little pepper, I think. That's the, her basic slaw. She's got a video on it uh, last year. But to go with that, with the slaw and the dilly dogs that I'm going to prepare in the wraps, we're going to have hash browns. Now, these are not your regular hash browns. I'm going to cook low carb hash browns for you. In fact, I'm going to have, at, when I finish, I'll have two cups, a cup for Rose and a cup for me. And they'll be, uh, they'll have a carb load of five GL, five glycemic load in each cup, so it'll be low carb. Now the way I do that is I start with a potato that I cooked yesterday. Why would I start with a potato that I cooked yesterday? Well, that's because uh, when you cook a potato yesterday and put it in the refrigerator overnight, you cut the carbs in the potato by uh, one third. So this particular potato here is about a quarter of a cup. And uh, so it would have about 10 GL. After it's refrigerated, as you can see, it's a quarter of a cup. After it's refrigerated, it will have about six or seven GL. So I've cut the carbs in this amount of potato. But I want to cut it further so I can have as much as I want. I want a full cup. So how do I do that? I take some radishes and chop them up because the radishes have no carb load, no GL if you just look up radishes. And the onions, raw onions, are almost zero GL for uh, 100 grams for a medium-sized onion but I'm only using an eighth of an onion here. So I'm gonna have an eighth of an onion. I'm gonna have three quarter cups of uh, radishes chopped. I'm gonna have one quarter cup of potato. If I press that all down in there, it'd be a quarter of a cup. And at the end, we'll have two cups of low carb potatoes. So to start this off, the first thing I need to do is turn around to the stove some bacon grease. Now you can use butter if you like. But, uh, I'm going to use bacon grease. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of bacon grease because I like the flavor. 
So here we go. A little bit more of bacon grease. Sort of spread it around there. I'm going to turn this eye on seven, which I think is medium heat, isn't it, Grandmama? No, it's medium high. Medium high. Okay. All right. So now we just start this to stirring while I, I mean, the melting here while I step back over here. And what I want to do now with this mashed potato is uh, let me rake the onions off into the pan because I'll cook them a little bit anyway. It doesn't hurt for them to start early. So I'm gonna rake potatoes off, I mean the onions off in there. The uh, radishes are raw right now. The potato is cooked. So I want them to both be cooked. So I'm gonna pop these radishes after I put them up into the microwave and I'm gonna cook them about two and a half uh, minutes. We'll go ahead and do it three minutes. I want them good and soft. Now, let the onions start cooking here. So, um, as soon as these are cooked, I'm going to take the potatoes here and mash them in with the uh, radishes so that you get the potato flavor all over the radishes and you have the onion flavor all mixed in there so that your hash browns have the flavor of cooked onions the potato mixed all through it because the radish doesn't have a really strong flavor. Now, if you would like, you could also peel your radishes if you want to, cook them and just pull the skin off. But I, I didn't today, and uh, I didn't the, the two times I've done this before. But they're very good. And the, the potato and the onion, and with a little salt and pepper, and you could add garlic if you want to, it really gives these radishes a really good delicious flavor and the, the flavor that you get is the potato. Now if you use a higher amount of radishes the more it's going to taste like radishes. The lower amount of radishes the more like the potato it's going to taste. So we'll these onions are beginning to fry a little bit. So we'll be back in just about a couple of, or three minutes. All right, while my radishes are finishing up, I'm going to put the hot dogs into the air fryer and let them cook for six minutes. Now, Grandmama's already got this air fryer set up for me because I would waste about half of the show uh, trying to get that done. So we're just putting the hot dogs in here, sliding it in the air fryer, and I'm supposed to just hit that button and the countdown for six minutes begins. And as that happens, the radishes should be soft. Not quite as soft as I would like them. So we'll go back for a couple more minutes. So we'll just let those cook for a minute. Okay, so the radishes should be soft now. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Okay, so what we want to do, I'll just rake them into a little bigger plate so I can work with them. And uh, if you were at home and not trying to make a video, you would just probably set these aside and let them cool for a while. What I'm trying to do is, of course, uh, mix the potatoes in the radishes, and I have a, a motive for partially mashing the potatoes. Now, the radishes are not gonna mash unless you peel them. So what I'm trying to do, though, is get the potato all around those radishes. 
just sort of mashing. Now you don't have to mash every piece of potato, but uh, you want these flavors mixing. I don't know any way to do it, but just get your hands in there. If your hands are clean, keep these going. So that, I'll just let those hang out together there for a minute. Put my onions back on the eye. I had cooked them about a minute. I'll get them going again for another minute. I've got a minute and 43 seconds to go on my uh, hot dogs. In the meantime, I'm going to microwave my tortilla shells. Grandmama, how long should a microwave look? 20 seconds. Pardon? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. That won't take very long. I'm coming down. My onions are back. Cooking it in. Now, we don't want to brown these too, cook these too long. It's just about two minutes. So I cooked them a minute earlier, and this is about a minute here. If you cook them too long and get them too brown, when you start cooking your hash browns and your radishes, you'll burn your, your onions. So we're going to go ahead, put the radishes and potatoes in for our hash browns, and just stir this in good. And this will cook for five or six minutes. Cooking at medium high right now. So let me take This tortilla. All I wanted to do it do is take a little bit of the raw flavor off of it and toughen it just a little bit. I'm good at knocking this cover down. All right, we'll put this on for 30 seconds. Rose said 20. Maybe it's not too overdone. Okay. In the meantime, we have some nicely cooked. Almost looked like being grilled. Uh, hot dogs out of the microwave. I mean, not microwave, but uh, cooker. Air fryer. The air fryer cooker. Okay, so we'll just take these out. I'm just going to take two out right now because that's all I'm going to prepare. I slide these back in. I'll bring some cheese over. And I'll bring some dills because we're making dilly dogs. Okay. Give these a little stir, a little bit of a flip here, so they'll cook all the way through. So for the dilly dogs, all I do, take a hot dog, place it in the middle, I get a dill pickle, put it in the middle, I take cheese, put it right in here, in the middle, maybe shift that a little bit more that way, and now, I'm going to just fold this in and fold this in. And if you want to uh, pin it or fold it some other way, that's fine too. But I'm just going to lay it right here for a second until I get the other one done. I'll get the other tortilla shell. Repeat the same process. A hot dog, dill pickle. You may not. Check your this. potatoes. Pardon? Check your potatoes. Okay. And I'll have to get back to potatoes in just a second. But right now. There we go. Here we go. Every 
are getting to brown a little bit. It takes about five or six minutes, depending upon how high your heat is, to do this. Now, I'll just use salt and pepper this time on these, but you can you can fix them up any way you want to. I'll just put a little salt them. Also, some black pepper. But you could put some hot pepper in them. You can put uh, garlic powder in it. So any way that you think you would like them. brown. Now you can make them as brown as you like or as light as you like. That's just up to you. I like mine browner than rose, but she told me to make sure I didn't make them look burned in this video. So I'm having to take instructions and try to do it appropriately for the video rather than just for rolling. So this is, this is coming out nicely here. So it needs another minute or so. Right now though, now I'm not going to put, you could, you could put onions in here, uh, fresh onions that are uncooked. You could go ahead and put mustard and ketchup if you really liked uh, in your wraps. But I'm not going to. I'm going to slide them in for, what, about a minute and a half, Rose? No, uh, 30 seconds. How much? 30 seconds per or, each or a minute yeah no yeah. longer than a minute okay no longer than a minute for the two i just want to melt the cheese reheat it get it hot then i'll have my slaw and also my mustard and ketchup ready and if you wanted some other kinds of pickles like the little pickle peppers you could of course use that Now, your onions have cooked up a little more, browned a little more, which is what we expected. The potato is browning nicely among the radishes, and the radishes also are taking uh, a brown look. So I think these are ready. So we're gonna just rake about half of these because I only wanted one cup for myself and one cup for Rose. So we'll just put this on the back burner for now. Take out the wraps. So if you want to see what's happening in the wraps, your cheese is all melted. And your hot dog is still in there. So what I want to do, I'll just take one of those for now over here. Slide this over to one side. Move your pickles. Move my pickles. Mm -hmm. And move this forward. We'll get some slaw. And I love slaw with hot dogs. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is just open this up. Put a little ketchup in here. And I'm gonna put ketchup over here for the hash browns. And this is uh, no sugar added ketchup, so our carb count is staying down. I also like a little mustard in my dog. A little bit of mustard over there for the hash browns. So, here we have a really delicious birthday meal for Roy because I have always loved hot dogs. When I was a boy, my, grand, my mother worked at a shirt factory and every payday we would either have hot dogs, which was a luxury for us, and we didn't have buns, we had bread, hot dogs and loaf bread, or because fish back then was cheap, especially mullet, which is what the poor folks ate 
then uh, so here is uh, then we would have mullet but hot dogs was a was a specialty for us and it's still that way for me especially since i first tasted rose's pickle slaw i just love it so let me see how hot this is i might can take a bite Mm. Mm. That dill pickle. Mm. It's delicious with that. A dilly dog. Give me a minute. Mm. Now I'll take some of the Hash browns. Mm. That's good. Oh, this is all delicious. Low carb. You're looking at a glycemic load of five for this whole meal, this complete meal. Lunch or supper, anytime you want a low carb load meal, this will work for you. It just happened to be my birthday selection. So thanks for watching. Y'all watch this video and share it if you enjoy it. I certainly hope you enjoy it. And uh, food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, and God feeds the soul as always. And thank y'all so much for praying for us and watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. Thank you.